Hey guys, in this video I want to share an update on the 49 inch LG monitor that I have um, for my home office space. I've been using this for about six to seven months now with different types of devices and I know a lot of you guys are having the problem where you cannot get the uh, full resolution promised with this 49 inch monitor specifically with your MacBooks. And I'm telling you the answer to that is um, basically upgrading to Big Sur. So I have three devices that I've used with this and um, I'm going to walk you through the devices that I've used just so that you guys have an idea so that if you have a MacBook or you have a uh, Mac Mini, you kind of know what the resolution is. And um, big hint here, it's literally upgraded to Big Sur. I feel like that is the resolution to this problem. So let me kind of go through the, all the devices I've used with. So first off, I have this um, MacBook Pro. It's a 15 inch uh, MacBook Pro that is a 2019 and it was actually on Catalina and when I was on Catalina with it, I'll go ahead and show you guys um, the full specs here, but when I was on Catalina with it, um, it did not get the full resolution that I needed and um, with that 3800-ish uh, resolution, it was horrible. Like the experience was horrible. I couldn't get as much work done as I thought I could. I know that sounds really insane, but it just impacted the way that I worked. And so I also got this 13-inch MacBook Pro as well for work. It's a corporate device, and I wasn't able to actually upgrade this device until about three days ago. And let me tell you, it's been a game changer. With a higher resolution rate, I was able to get more things done, which was really, really incredible. Normally when I'm working, I have the screen divided into three different sections. I use the Better Snap tool so that I can kind of partition uh, where my windows should be. And the lower resolution um, just didn't give me enough space to see what I wanted to do and uh, basically I had to divide the monitor up into two. Now I can actually uh, fully divide it into three partitions and I can actually like have a screen for reference, have a screen for my email, and have an active screen where I'm actually working on documentation or whatever I'm doing. So with that said, I have a 2020 uh, 13 inch MacBook uh, right behind me here. And I, again, I just upgraded it about three days ago and it uh, was able to kind of fix the uh, high resolution not appearing, which is really, really great. So back in July, I got a 3.2 gigahertz Intel Core i7 6 core Apple Mac Mini, and that Mac Mini did not allow me to get the high resolution rates until, again, I upgraded to Big Sur. And at the time, Big Sur was pretty new, and I was afraid that it was going to impact all of my uh, Adobe software, and luckily it didn't, and so I was able to upgrade to Big Sur and get the high resolution rate that way, but it took forever for me to figure it out. And I thought it was like having the different ports, um, and so I bought a bunch of different cables and stuff, trying to figure out um, it if it was the port situation that didn't give me the high resolution. I spent a lot of time and money trying to figure out which cords actually worked uh, for these devices. The reason why was because I read on all these different Reddit forums and like Apple forums that um, there are certain cords that would work uh, to kind of fix this problem and I tried every single one of them but none of them allowed me to use a MacBook with um, Catalina um, OS system. I tried everything and it pretty much like spent $30 on a cord and I just had to return it. So so I spent a ton of time doing that and what I found actually is that the HDMI ports that are on this monitor do not allow you to have that high resolution rate. So you have um, on the monitor itself you have a USB-C as well as a display port and those will actually give you the high resolution resolution rates that you're looking for for your MacBook. So my setup right now is that I have the USB-C hooked up to my um, personal device and I have the display port hooked up to um, my corporate device. And I actually have it hooked up through this uh, Thunder port. And if you guys um, look at my older videos, I have that kind of set up with my uh, corporate device because I didn't want my corporate device to be hooked up to all of my other hard drives that I have hooked up to the monitor. I know that this probably doesn't make any sense. Go ahead and watch the video if you guys want to see it. But overall, uh, again, I have this one hooked up to USB-C and then this corporate device hooked up to my display port and works magically and I have both of them now upgraded to Big Sur. So long story short, if you want the high resolution rate and you have a MacBook Pro, I would highly recommend upgrading to Big Sur to get the resolution that you want. And let me tell you, the resolution rate is a game changer. Um, I honestly feel like I am more productive at work. I feel like I can see more, I can do more, and I can like basically comprehend more things because of the high resolution rate. And I know that sounds really, really ridiculous, but it's really important to me to have um, the ability to be productive as well as be able to consume all this information so that I can kind of prioritize my time. So I hope that helps you guys in terms of trying to troubleshoot this. Um, hopefully you guys are able to download um, Big Sur for your MacBooks. If not, I'm so sorry, but um, I've tried every single cord imaginable for um, all of the ports and uh, none of them really worked for me until I just upgraded to Big Sur. So 
there you have it. That is my tip for you if you're trying to get that high resolution rate with your LG monitor. I love this monitor, by the way. If you guys want to go ahead and check it out, my full review on it a few months ago when I got it and the unboxing and all that, go ahead and check out that video. I also did a review on um, the actual like stand that I bought for it that was separate from what came in the box. Um, and the stand, I would actually give it like a 7 out of 10. It's a little bit wobbly, but then my desk is a little bit wobbly too. So um, it's not a big deal, but I will tell you guys like my situation here is a little wobbly, um, but it's not something that it's like unmanageable. I'm just not going to spend $1,000 on a new desk. So there you have it. That is my review. If you guys have any questions at all um, on the devices or anything like that, or even on um, how I like the monitor, go ahead and ask me the questions below. Thank you, and please continue subscribing to my channel because that really helps me out and go ahead and smash that like button because that tells YouTube that you guys like videos like this. All right. Thanks guys. Take care. Bye.